All right, all right, all right. We're all under pressure, but let's talk about that pressure in the chest today. So we had the atrium guys come in and do some in-servicing. Uh, if you missed it, that's, you know what, that's your bad. You're never gonna live that one down. Anyway, so a couple of tidbits that I took that I did not know, I'm gonna cover right now. All right, so first thing, A, this system, as you can see, has seen better days. It got chewed up right there, and, and then got chewed a little bit right there. So, first thing, um, we're gonna talk about the three chambers that basically make up the atrium, okay? So the first is the collection chamber. Um, as we talked about um, before, when you do your I's and O's with your, um, with your collection chamber at the, the last one you do in your shift. So let's say you're in the ICU and it's that like seven o'clock one, right? Cause a lot of like my open heart nurses at seven o'clock, you're gonna do those last little bit of I's and O's right before the, the seven o'clock people come in. Um, on nine, you're gonna do your like, let's say you're on day shift, your two o'clock I's and O's. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take whatever that amount is so let's say you went from like 40 to 50. You're gonna put down that you had 10 in your output and you're gonna right click, add comment, and you're gonna say 50 is your total. So they know what your total is. You can mark the chamber too, but also put that in the comments so we're all kind of doing the same thing. Cause there's sometimes some nurses won't mark anything, some nurses will mark anything. So it's like, which way am I going? So just so we have it that last time, we have what that total was. So then if like you were at 50 when you left and the next nurse comes in and they're like, bam, they right there. They know like, oh dang, they just had a hundred and, what is that, 130, my math ain't real good, um, out. So collection chamber, that's your first um, chamber of this three chamber system. Let's go to chamber number two. And we're gonna talk about the water seal chamber. So this is the guy that kind of protects the patient. So when you're going to set one of these things up on the back, back here, you're going to have this water stuck in right here. You're going to take that out. All that is is sterile water. You're going to pop it in the top right here. I'm going to have to look away from the camera so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, you're going to squirt that in there. All right, now the water is going to be clear, but this little ball right here, it's got a dye on it and it's going to turn the water blue. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your water um, is about right at that level. These things here are, are bubbling. So if the bubbling is just comes to here and goes up, we know that's kind of a, a minor air leak. If we're to the two, a little bit worse. To the three, a little bit worse. Four and five, you kind of get the idea, right? So if that water is shooting all the way out to here, and or the air is shooting all the way out to there and bubbling, we know we have a pretty significant air leak. Um, I'm gonna see if I can make this ball move here. And I can't cause it's kind of stuck down there. But this little ball should float. Um, if the pressure in the chest is kind of neutral, it'll float around the zero. If the pressure in the chest is negative, it's gonna come up here, right? So these numbers all here are negative centimeters of H2O. These would be positive centimeters of H2O. So let's say that patient has, um, continues to have a pneumothorax or has a pneumothorax on the other side and is increasing the pressure in that chest, you're gonna see that ball down here. So I'm not really hooked to a real patient and this system is older than me, um, this chamber itself, because we've been using it for education forever, it's not working. But if a patient coughs, they may go negative and they're gonna get up here. So one thing he also told me is if a patient coughs enough, you may get enough pressure built up in here that it kind of gets stuck. And that sometimes happens and eventually there is a release valve and it will release off, but also on the top here, right here is a release valve. So if you push this button, that will release all of that pressure to let that ball drop back down. Um, next thing, so we almost put anybody that's got a, a, an air leak on suction, right? And also a lot of our, um, our chest tubes, our mediastinal chest tubes for our open heart patients are on suction. So we always kind of say, yes, this is where we got to gauge what the patient's going to see. So what the patient's chest is going to see for suction is going to be set by this. And there's a little dial here. I can turn it to different things. Um, negative 20 is going to be common, right? So negative 20 is going to be our most common. What the guy told me that just my mind was like, boom, blue, was you have to have this thing set to about negative 80 at the wall. So we want negative 80 at the wall to be able to get that negative 20 here. You could go higher than that. He said, you know, you can go negative 100 something 
um, all they're going to see is that negative 20, but you want at least negative 80. How do I know I'm on suction? Okay, so first off, where am I going to plug my suction? The same spot I put my water, I'm going to put my suction tubing right on there. Next thing is how do I know if my suction is actually functioning? And I'm just going to get a little jimmy rig here. You're going to see this bellow pop out. Boop. Suction, no suction. Suction, no suction. One more time. Suction, no suction. Um, that's how you know you're on suction. So when you hooked up and you're at a wall suction, that little bellow will be out. If you do not see that bellow out and you're supposed to be on suction, you are not on suction. Um, that's about six minutes right there. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Um, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.